had described Bitcoin as the future of money, not only here in the U.S., but all over the world. Boy, how times have changed. The recent collapse of crypto exchange FTX has created a massive ripple effect all over the world. Some are calling for digital currency now to be regulated. Other crypto exchanges have announced layoffs and investors this morning, well, they've lost millions of dollars. So if you're one of those retail investors or couch investors who ventured into the troubled waters, you may be wondering what you can do now that your investments have basically vanished. And that's why we brought in Dion Pounsel. He's here to explain. He is the principal chief investment officer of Pounsel Capital. He's also the founder of MoneySchool.com. Thanks so much for coming on this morning. My pleasure. Thank you for having yeah. me. So explain really quickly just exactly what happened here with these failed crypto exchanges. Yeah, absolutely. I want you to think that you and a couple million of your friends put some money in a bank and unfortunately the actual bank owner robbed you. And that's essentially what happened. So Sam Bankman Free was the owner and founder of FTX. They had billions of dollars under management. And essentially, they were scraping money off the accounts, getting loans from banks, investing into bad assets. And when the bank and loans uh, asked for their money back, they didn't have it. You know, we actually heard from him last night in New York. He was taking part in a, in a business conference, and he said he didn't know the extent of what was happening within his own company. Those are frightening words from the CEO. Yeah. That said, a lot of couch investors, they know what happened. Yeah. They lost their money. So now FTX is in bankruptcy or will be going to bankruptcy court. My question is this. For all those folks, even the small investor who'd like to get any portion of that investment back, do they have a chance? It's a high probability that that's going to be a no, and if so, it's going to be years in this lawsuit. Uh, they have a class action lawsuit where several celebrities are named for the influence that they had on the American people. Um, it's going to be most likely a no. Can they get in on those lawsuits though? Yeah, they can file and, and, and find on Google whether class action is being handled um, and, and apply for it and see if they can get a part of it. But what I want people to know is you have to be educated and you want to make informed data-driven decisions, not just from a meme coin or not just from being hyped. You want to actually be informed and learn and have some transparency on what you're putting your money into. Blockchain is not going away. In fact, we know that the government is beta testing a digital dollar. Absolutely. In your mind, if I can ask you to look at a crystal ball, how far away are we from this being mainstream in America? So the technology is definitely here to stay. I think the important thing is regulation, right? So you, we're going to have to decide as the American people putting some heat on the politicians. Is it going to be the CFTC or is it going to be SEC? But we need to protect the people. These are hard-earned work, uh, working people who are having hard-earned money. And at the end of the day, we need transparency. You want to be informed. So this is what I teach my students at moneyschool.com is you don't want to have uh, – the ability to be able to read, but you want to have the ability to be able to understand, right? And that's the key. Well, you know, we were talking about this in the newsroom yesterday with our executive producer. And, you know, the, the point here is that a lot of the lawmakers don't even understand technology. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you saw uh, Zuckerberg testifying in Congress and it, the lawmakers didn't even know the right questions to ask him yeah. because they didn't understand Facebook. Good point. Yeah. You know, so how do we how do we make sure we get lawmakers in that are going to hold the people, people uh, you know, these crypto companies feet to the fire? Yeah, the analogy I like to use is in the early 80s and 90s. 90s, it's like the internet. It was like the wild, wild west. There, and there are going to be some bad actors, right? But because the technology allows for transparency, then it's here to stay. And then also, you're going to be able to say, look, utility is the key. And I want to be able to use this and see how it can affect and change lives. The first use case was money. And it was easy to be able to understand because I want to be able to say, you know what, I have a decentralized thing and it's not controlled by the banks and I have a little bit of freedom. But now with the government getting involved, it's going to be able to have some protection and some insurance to give a people a little bit more comfort. A lot of people made a lot of money on Bitcoin, for example. Yes. I think at one point it was trading near 70000 I think now it's in the upper teens right now. Yeah. As far as an investment, if you were just talking to folks at home and they said, hey, yeah. how much should we, is there a percentage? Is it like anything else? You should be diversified? Absolutely. You should be diversified. I wouldn't 
spend more than 1% of your net wealth, 1%. Uh, your net worth in, in crypto. You want to have diversification, whether it's stocks, bonds, options, forex, futures, or crypto. You want to understand it, and you want to know what the instrument is, what the asset class is, what the actual use case is. And if you can, learn more about the founding team and what they actually plan to do with the money or the coins or the contracts. Well, one of the things I love about you and coming on here is you break it down so easy for people <laughs> to understand, and this is what you do. Um, we want you to, people to know you have a, a program. It's called yes. Money School. Yes. You have special uh, programs for folks here in Chicago. We got the yes. QR code up yes. there for people to learn more because yeah. you, you break this down very easy people, for people to understand. Yeah, thank you so much. So for sure, being a hometown native, I wanted to be able to do some things for Chicago. So literally, you can go to moneyschool.com, M-O-N-E-Y-S-K-O-O-L.com and type in hashtag for Chicago. And I'm going to give our investing and trading beginners bundle absolutely free. So put that code in, visit, and I would love to teach you and show you about how money works and be able to use it to, as a tool to design a lifestyle that you want to live. And you've got like 11,000 students, and that's really great. Yeah, Thank absolutely. you so yeah. much.